Oh, she's got to fall in. So, there we go. That is it. Oh, yes. I knew it was going to happen. Oh, well. She'll come and join them, that Aussie family. That Aussie family. Good day, mate. How you going? That oh, Aussie good. Family. No worries, mate. Is that that hungry? What a vision, mate. All right, guys, we're off camping. Just left Coolum, heading out to our camping spot, which is about an hour from here, an hour? About, about an hour from here, yeah. And, um, yeah, just want to let you know we're on our way. It's challenging trying to get out of the house. You know, you always got to race around to get bits and pieces. We had to go and do a bit of shopping beforehand. But, um, should be a good time. Jazzy's just a little bit excited that she's going camping. Are you excited, Jazzy? Jazzy, do you want to go camping? Are you excited? Are we in the country? Hey, are we in the country? I told you. Here we are at our camping spot. Jazzy's very excited. Oh, look out for the car. Can't hit the car. Or the tree. Please drive slowly. Oh dear, look at the deers. Look at the deers. Oh, the babies. <laughs> Jazzy, Jazzy, Jazzy no. stop it. I want the window down. Let's have a look at the deers. Oh, look at the deers. Oh, Jazzy, don't get too excited. <laughs> okay. Let's go. This is where we are. And we're going to be. That's the old. We stayed in one of those cabins last time. Hey, that's Ellen's cabin. And we're staying in one of the bigger that's cabins over here. Yeah. Awesome. So, should be good. Oh, so we unload. And this is where we're stopping. So it's not really camping, I suppose. We are going to cook on a little fire over here. Cook our barbecue. Yeah, should be good. And Katie's mum's over there. Let's check out the cabin. There's the kitchen. Oh, it's a little bit fancy for camping. Look, this is this is this is this is the way we camp. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, that's the way. Yep, that's camping. This is definitely definitely my style of camping. Oh, we've even got a TV. Oh yeah, this is camping, my style. <laughs> but uh, no, we're gonna probably do it. We'll do our cooking over here on the barbecue because um, we've got lots of meat and lots of big steaks. Where you see these big. Big, big Freddy Flintstone steaks I've got. Woo, they're good. This is Karen over here. Friend of uh, the family. Comes to Christmas with us every year. We go camping all together. We'll go over and check out Don and Kerry over here. This is their setting up their tent. So, yeah. Camping time. What you doing, Dad? I'm marinating our Freddie Flintstone steaks. Look at that. Now that is a steak. Look at that. I've got a couple of them here. Whoop. Yeah. Another one there. Big Freddie Flintstone steaks. So I'm marinating them in um, extra virgin olive oil with garlic. Okay. And you let them soak for about 12 hours. Well, usually 12 hours. But um, I'm going to cheat a little bit and do a little bit. Yeah. Oh, I had one. Yeah, oh, you can have one. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Oh, yeah. They're, they're just they're just porterhouse steaks, but these are the, what they call the cattleman cut. Just a big, thick, juicy cut. Absolutely beautiful. So we're gonna have those on the barbecue tonight. All right. All okay. Right. See ya. Bye. Well, guys, we really just got here. We've unpacked everything. The girls are going to set up a fire, and a lot of them have set up a fire. They're all just sitting around the fire. I'm gonna have a snooze. I don't get this opportunity much where I can get away from the phones and everything in the home office, so yeah, I'm going to have a snooze. Oh, that's better. So for about two hours, probably needed it, probably still needed to still be in bed asleep. Um, that was really good. Hopefully I'll find everybody else. That's scary in my eyes looking right now, I haven't even looked at them. Probably scary looking, are they? Sleep. Well, Clara, show us, your, show us how muddy you are. You've come back. Did you wet the fire? 
She's come rain. back from playing because it's, <laughs> it's raining here at the moment. Show, turn around, rain. honey. She's covered. Show us your bag. In mud. What are they doing Stand down over there? Stand over here in the light so you can see. Still, we're looking for Reuben oh, and. Oh my gosh. Amy. Okay, Reuben and. This oh, other kid. I can't mm. remember his name. Oh. He's a boy there. Well, it's all wet, so the girls are out riding bikes. There's not much else they can do. It's really bad weather today. Oh, well, we're going to go into town. We're going to pick up a few things. Some ponchos and some umbrellas. <laughs> yeah, ponchos and umbrellas. Wet camping. Wet camping. Let's go to town, Jazzy. Hey? Oh. Oh. The video camera. Alright guys, so today is the first sunny day we've had. I haven't got the camera out over the last couple of days because we've just been stuck in the cabin playing board games. Um, and today is really the first day that the sun has come out. So, And we're going home tomorrow. So, how's that? So, I've just been getting bits and pieces. Not enough to put a full vlog together. So, yeah. Now that the sunny weather's here, oh, we'll see how we go. Alright. Well, you get something to eat. Oh yeah, that's good. Yummy. Mm -mm -mm. Come on guys, where are you going? Oh, we're ready. Hey. First bit of uh, sunshine we've had in days. Oh, are we near something strange, are we, Jazzy? We're jealous. Are you jealous, Pot? Are you jealous? Oh, ho, ho, you jealous. Hey, there it is. Hello. I'm surprised these other guys haven't wandered over, you know, there's a whole ton of them over there. They haven't wandered over, hello. Everybody's in the back. More. We're going down the creek, alright. We've got to stop at the park to pick up more boys. Okay. Little boys. No, Little boys. Give me the camera. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Ready? In the truck. Driving in the back of the truck. Whee! We having fun yet? <gasps> Darren, stop! Stop! Oh, shit. What was that? that was the um, fire thingy. You just ran over it. Doesn't matter, keep going. What fire thingy? Let's start again. <laughs> going to the river. Got the boats, got some of the kids. We're gonna stop back of the truck. It's a long way down. <gasps> Do you want to fall? Yeah, because I had a. Um, so what were you doing? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, he jumped in. He was jumping. He was trying Hold to. Hold on, Alicia. Here. He went down, and I, Tom scared me, and I went bang! And I was like, oh, it hurt. Hold on. I am, no, chill out. <laughs> There's Jazzy all the way down oh, there. I got distracted, Mom, watching Alice in Wonderland. Oh, behind the sign. Can't see him. Mommy, can I just leave my bike oh. here? I'm going for a walk by the river. Oh, hey? I'm just going to leave my bike there. Okay. okay, jump in and find somewhere safe to sit. Sit on the side and hang on. Oh, okay, we'll yep. just sit in the boat. Yep. 
Careful you don't fall off the back. Sit, no, sit on this side of the bar. off the edge. Yeah, move out. Yeah. That's it. In you get. In you get. More in you get. Go on swimming. We're up to the bit on um, Alice in Wonderland where they have the wall. I want to see it. It's like a chess wall. Just move up, Alicia. And that's the only good bit about it. There, Joe. Up here. Joe. Is Molly going to do this then? Molly going to do this? Yeah, are you going to get wet? Molly. Hi, Daddy! I'm holding the tears for Molly. Well, I did. Row, row, row your boat. Molly, take it off! Yeah, but I didn't pay for it. Molly, no, bring us over there. What are you going to do about it? You, 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 you're stuck there. What are you going to do? Hey? Is it? You're so mean. Well, I thought she was going to fall in. I didn't want to miss that. Everyone would want to see that. <laughs> I nearly fell over. That's right. Oh, she's got to fall in. There we go. That's it. Oh yes, I knew it was going to happen. Oh well. <laughs> Alright guys, so here is my car here. And check out what just fell off the tree above. It's a whopping great bench come crashing down. It's actually hit the roof of the cabin we're staying on. And um, just missed my car, my truck. So, good thing. It didn't happen, so yeah, look at that. Jeez, it made a thud when it came down. All right, guys, so we're off today. Uh, the weather's turned bad again. We're going home. Um, hasn't been a real good run, hasn't been a real good chance to do decent videos. So I'm sorry, what can I say? But I'll get this uploaded when I get home. At least you guys can have a bit of a look at sort of some of our experience while we're here. I was hoping to be able to get a video every day for the last four days, but not when you're sitting in a cabin. Nah. Nice little area, as you can see, but hasn't been really a chance to, to do anything decent. Come on, David, tell them all. What have you done? Well, at the moment, I'm locked out on my balcony. I'm locked out on my mini... Look, let me show you. I've got a little balcony off of my bedroom. It's probably the size of a small room, and I'm locked out here because Katie has gone down the road to get McDonald's and pizza and, um, she, and just as she was leaving she pulled the door and put the, put the latch on it. Now normally, normally, let me show you here, all right, go over, you can see this, normally, let me see if I can get my finger right, normally there's a, a key in here that I can, I can actually look, but it's, it's got, look at that, I'm locked on my balcony, I'm like a prisoner, I'm a prisoner with a good view anyway. You know, I've got a nice view out here, but I'm locked on the balcony, nothing I can do about it. I've got no mobile phone, so I've had to call Mark and see if he could call Katie back in Australia to tell her I'm back at home locked in the balcony. Well, any, anyway, viewers, listen, I'm trying my best, but Katie's got her phone turned off. Well, this is obviously a big calamity. I'll just put you back onto Darren. So what do I do? I'm stuck here on the balcony, locked on the balcony, you know, I just... Ah! Frustrating, you know, and I, as I, I realised what had happened, she's already gone down the stairs and gone out to the car. I'm over the balcony yelling, she didn't hear me, you know. I don't know, so I'm stuck here now, so she's gone out. Who knows how long she's gone out for. It, uh, it can happen. And I've got a bird flying across my screen. What's that all about? Now yeah, you're punching me. Oh, gosh. The joys. The joys of the internet, hey, Devin. Right, listen. Yeah, well, honestly, I, I thought to myself, okay, you know when you've got a mobile phone, you don't remember people's numbers because all the numbers are in the phone. I wouldn't know my, I wouldn't know anyone's number except for Katie's number I know by heart, but I wouldn't know. If I wanted to ring Chris right now to come and get me out, I couldn't. I couldn't because I don't know his number. All I know is his number is inside my phone. That's it. 
Um, you know, there's nothing I can do about it. I'm stuck. I'm just stuck here. What oh. do I do? So I've run Mark in the other side of the world to bring Katie, who is probably two kilometres from here, to come and get me off the balcony. I'm stuck. Listen, Darren, don't worry. I'll, I'll try and get Kate again. Obviously, she's either in a bad reception area or her phone's turned off. So. Soon as dial her again. I will dial it. I will try and dial it just right now so I can show everybody. <laughs> Hang on a second. Oh, that's fantastic. Right, it's ringing. No, it's not. Calling is switched off or not in a mobile service area. Please try again later. The mobile phone you are calling is switched off or not in a... Darren, you want to tell Katie? Hello? Darren, you want to tell Katie the phone is still switched off? Uh, what? <laughs> right, listen. Unfortunately, I love to talk to you while, you <laughs> while you're stuck on your own in your cell. But um, I've just got some clients here with me, and uh, <laughs> I just need to, to finish off my meeting. So, listen, guys, this is Mark from Darren. Oh, man. <laughs> at Meet That Aussie Family. That Aussie Family dot com. <laughs> I'll see you all later. Darren, give us all a wave. Give us a wave. <laughs> I'm stuck. Oh, the reflection shine on the screen. Okay, buddy, listen, I'll give you. I'll try it again in a few minutes, and I'll give you a ring back. All right, bud. If she gets home, just let me know. See you later. Bye. Bye.